Sure, let's talk about raising mealworms. What I have here are actually superworms. They're bigger, so it makes it a little bit easier to get them on camera. To raise mealworms, you're going to need bedding. I use wheat bran, but you can also use oatmeal. You're going to need a container that you can put them in. And you're going to need some kind of water source for them. You can use carrots, potatoes, a lot of fruits and vegetables will do. I use a wood burning tool like this one to make air holes in my plastic lids like this to provide ventilation. Because they're a true insect, mealworms have, and superworms have four life stages. There are the eggs, which are really too small to photograph. These, which are the, the larval st stage, the pupa, and then the adults. I have the three stages separated by age because the superworms are cannibalistic. They won't pupate unless you put them in a container like this one, so they're, ha they're secluded. And uh, even if they did pupate, they would probably be eaten by the other insects in the container. Keeping them segregated also makes it easier to clean the containers when you need to clean them out, which you will need to do. By the way, you can feed styrofoam to your mealworms. Just keep in mind, if you do that, you need to segregate them for 48 hours before you feed them to your chickens so that the flame retardant is purged from their bodies. You will need to clean them occasionally to uh, take out spent bedding and also to remove their, their droppings, which are called frass. If you have them segregated by age, it is also easier to clean them out because you don't have to worry about immature insects being filtered out with the uh, bedding you're throwing out. Well, so much for the cannibal tendencies. I found three pupa when I cleaned out the uh, larva. The adults are pretty easy to clean because you would just pick them up and um, move them to a new container. All right, guys, come here. And then leave their container that they were in to uh, grow out some new baby. Grow out some new baby superworms. So those are the basic of raising mealworms.